The Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children is located in Wilmington, Delaware. Operating for over 70 years, the hospital is known to be one of the nation's best children's hospitals in eight specialties, including cardiology and orthopedics. When it came time to expand, a unique new space was designed to invite engagement, lift the heart, and promote healing. This project is uh, fairly unique in that it's a two leaf-shaped wings of a, of a 500,000 square foot addition, approximately 500,000 square feet, with a five-story atrium in between. Uh, due to the leaf shape, um, the building has a lot of curved walls, as you can imagine. So that makes it very unique from a construction standpoint and presents some unique challenges as well. The buildings that we usually work in are rectangular or square, and you measure off columns and you lay things out on the floor or the ceiling to get your measurements and put your hangers in. This has been done with a Trimble system. The Trimble system, how it works is it takes the information from the BIM model and it puts the points in the Trimble unit and we go out into the field and we lay out the points from a GPS coordinate and we, we shoot them up and we put all of our embeds in for all of our points. They get laid out before the actual uh, concrete is poured. What we're doing at Skanska is we, are, we call it multi-trade prefabrication. We bring all of the trades in, we bring them all into one room, we put them all into one system and we all work together. This allows a lot of work to take place off-site in a warehouse as the site work is being completed, as the steel is going up in the building. All this work that we're doing right now in the warehouse would have to wait another year. We're getting it all done now and then we're going to be putting into the building basically like an erector set. It allows you to use smaller crews, work more efficiently, and we're a schedule that's this fast paced, it allows you to keep up with the schedule. On the uh, rack system, it's all predetermined where everybody's going to be. If anybody gets into anybody's way, you just move to another section or another rack and you can continue the job, there's no holdups. That's not the industry norm. It's, we're trying to make it to be the industry norm, but we are, we, are, we are trying to incorporate all the trades into one system. It's much more productive for the client, for the architect, for the subcontractors, for the general contractor, construction manager. Innovative in its architecture and cutting edge in its methods of construction, the expansion needed the best in building materials to complement its structure. Copper was a sensible choice. Copper is largely an industry standard in the healthcare construction industry in the United States. Um, for many reasons, it's antimicrobial for one, um, and, and it, it has just been proven to be the best product to use for life support systems that are, that are inherent in a hospital facility. We use copper piping obviously for the medical gas. It's a standard specification uh, in the industry and for us as well. Uh, we also use uh, copper for the domestic hot water, domestic chill water, and heating hot water piping. We have to perform a roughly six degree radius due to the design of the building, and we could not do that with any other product besides copper. We're able to bend this product to where we need it to. The copper, it's, it's a lot easier to work with. You, know, you cut it, you ream it, um, you make the connection with ProPress or brazing, and, it, and you move on. Because of the integrity of the piping, the fact that a lot of this piping is not going to be easy to get to due to the height of the ceilings and the height of these racks. So uh, those two processes really present a very quality pro uh, product in the end that we wouldn't have to worry about from a, from a maintenance standpoint. Steel pipe would have added additional joints and potentials for leaks. And if we did have a problem with the carbon steel, we would have had to drain the system, take the system apart. Whereas if you were to use the copper system, all we'd have to do is drain the system, go ahead, and reheat the affected area, rebraze the area, and, and uh, braze the area, and we fix the leak. So, it's the only product, to my knowledge, that we can run through a plenum ceiling. It also meets all the NFPA requirements we need for penetrations for one hour, two hour, three, four hour walls that are required for for fire escape chambers in those buildings. Um, not quite sure the exact temperature, but the failure of copper pipe is somewhere in the 1900 degree, 1900 to 2000 degree range. Now it, it's going to start to melt at that point. If you have a fire that hot, copper is going to be the least of your worries. But copper is going to hold up much better than any other product just for all the things we've already talked about that, you know, antimicrobial, being able to use, fire rating, um, all those components are greatly advancing our use of that product. Copper plays a vital role in construction for the medical industry. Copper gave the builders the advantage they needed to meet tight deadlines, 
It also allowed the builders to work with the unique architecture with ease. With the help of copper, the new wing will give caregivers what they need to provide the very best care for many years to come.